Slada. In the depths, no one can hear you scream. Well, they can, but it's really muffled. Now you dwell in the deep. In Dota 1, Mask of Madness and Sprint are both based on the Warcraft 3 skill, Berserk. Since they're both based off Berserk, they will override each other and cannot be active at the same time. For example, if you activate Sprint, then you activate Mask of Madness, the Sprint is removed and Mask of Madness is active instead. You can never have both on at the same time. While that is a pretty big nerf, it does mean that you can never be taking the amplified damage from both sources. However, in Dota 2, the Mask of Madness and Sprint buffs are independent of each other and can be active at the same time. As a result of this, you will also be taking the amplified damage from both the Mask of Madness and Sprint. While the buffs from both are powerful, you do have to always keep in mind that you will be taking a lot of bonus damage if you have both active at the same time. While in both Dota 1 and Dota 2, you are unable to stack a basher with bash-based abilities, you are at least able to buy a basher or an abyssal blade in Dota 1, if you want to. While normally you wouldn't, it is nice to know that you have the option to if you wish to forgo your bash and instead get an abyssal blade. Sometimes you need that guaranteed 2 second stun that goes through magic immunity. In Dota 2, if you're Slardar, you are completely restricted from even purchasing a basher or an abyssal blade. Dota 2 does not allow it on Slardar, Spirit Breaker, or Void. In Dota 1, if you become magic immune after the Slithering Crush stun is over, it will not remove the move speed and attack speed debuff. However, in Dota 2, becoming magic immune will remove the debuff acquired from Slithering Crush. In Dota 1, amplified damage can be put on autocast, meaning amp damage will automatically cast on units periodically when it's off cooldown. In Dota 2, autocast is no longer a part of Dota, and all amp damage casts are manually done. Slaughter's bash damage type is physical in both Dota 1 and Dota 2. Since it's physical, it would go through magic immunity, right? Wrong. The tricky part about this skill in Dota 1 is the way that Bash is hard-coded in Warcraft 3. When Slaughter's Bash procs, the unit is stunned. Then, Bash actually deals 0.02 magical damage. If the magical damage is taken by the target, then Bash will deal the 70 bonus physical damage. If the unit doesn't take the 0.02 magical damage, then the bonus physical damage does not proc. Therefore, only Slardar's stun goes through magic immunity, not the damage. As of note, Pipe of Insight will also block the physical damage from proccing, since it would absorb that 0.02 magical damage. Now in Dota 2, there is no engine restriction. The stun and the physical bonus damage from Bash will both go through magic immunity and Pipe. In Dota 1, Amplified Damage provides vision on creeps just like it does for heroes. In addition, Amp Damage Duration also lasts for two whole minutes on non-resistant skin creeps. However, in Dota 2, Amp Damage actually doesn't give vision of the creep it's used on. Also, the duration is the same on creeps as it is for heroes, which is 25 seconds. If you'd like to support the channel, you can find me on Patreon in the links below. If not, then liking, sharing, subscribing, and following me on Twitter is pretty awesome too. Special shout out to my patrons, you guys are awesome.